here's your storm tracker weather forecast with Jason Laird. Welcome back, everybody. Ton to talk about, so let's get right to it. U.S. Bank ICAM in Great Falls sitting at 21 degrees. A little bit of a wind, though, out of the northeast, making it feel more like 10 as you're waking up this morning. Also can't rule out some fog along the Rocky Mountain front. 22 in the capital right now. A little bit of a breeze out of the north, dropping the feels like temperature down to 14 degrees right now. Lingering flurries already starting to kick off in north central Montana. So with that said, a ton of storm alerts to break down. Uh, going east to, or excuse me, west to east, we're looking at a high wind warning in the areas in yellow. Wind about 35 to 45 miles per hour, gusts up to 55 at times in this area. Looking at the areas in purple right now, that is going to be a winter storm warning. Snow in this area up to 10 inches. We'll break down the city by city totals here momentarily. Blowing and drifting snow not out of the question in that area. Plus a blizzard warning in the areas in orange right now. That is going to be new snow of 6 to 12 inches. Plus high winds at 40 miles per hour plus heading out to eastern Montana. Winter storm watch in effect on average 5 to 10 inches of snow expected in this area. Also tracking winds at about 40 miles per hour and the remainder of central Montana is in a winter weather advisory. One to three inches of snow expected in those highlighted regions for today. The snow is going to kick off in north central Montana. It will continue over the mountains and then break over the mountains later this afternoon into the evening. So uh, likely going to start to see some accumulating snow between Gray Falls and Cutbank this afternoon and evening, continuing overnight into Thanksgiving. Winds also an issue today. We'll see them start out at about 10 to 20 miles per hour, ramping up 20 to 30, maybe even 30 to 40 near Cutbank. So a windy day on tap, blowing and drifting snow, likely limited visibilities along I-15. Use some caution there. Daytime highs, not very warm, only 28 degrees in Gray Falls. Same story in the capital. A couple of 30s just west of the divide and looking at 30s in northeastern Montana a heart of the state at about 25 today. Tonight, teens in a few 20s for overnight lows. Very brisk and again with a little bit of wind, those feels like temperatures are going to be quite a bit lower. More widespread snow for Thanksgiving continuing throughout north central and central Montana. The Rocky Mountain front, especially along the northern portions of the Rocky Mountain front, will see the majority of the snow accumulation out of this system. We should see a little break in the action into Friday, but more wraparound moisture is expected even on to Friday. So with Thursday's temperature looking at the teens and 20s for daytime highs. 21 in Gray Falls, 22 in the capital, looking at the mid 20s in northeastern Montana. So snow accumulation through about the noon hour tomorrow, about one to three expected for most of central Montana. A lot more though in the northern portions of the Rocky Mountain front. Once it's all said and done through Friday, should see about five to eight for Gray Falls, three to five for Helena, eight to 12 though for Cutbank. Could see even more in that area and about three to five along the High Line near Haver. Now that's system is going to start to make its way out. Big area of low pressure is going to continue to jog out this weekend. However, we'll still see some wraparound moisture even up through Saturday. Over the next seven days, here's what you're looking at. 28 today and more snow for Thanksgiving getting uh, downright chilly on Friday at a daytime high of 16 degrees here in the capital. 28 degree as 28 degrees as the snow moves in 22 tomorrow and wrapping up the work week with 18 degrees. Keely.